here. My name is Maddie, and if you're not new here, welcome back. Um, like the title of the video says, today I'm going to be trying to get 10,000 words in in this one single day. Um, it's just after Christmas and I haven't written in the past few days and I just want to get myself back into the routine of sitting down and writing and getting some work done. Uh, it's a little just past noon right now so starting a little bit late but I did sleep in and had to go do some errands. I got some coffee but yeah I'm back now and we're just gonna pedal to the metal and write. It's voiceover Maddie here just to kind of talk through what I'm doing um, and how this day went for me. I do have a few like check-ins and you'll kind of see how it just the day doesn't turn out how I wanted it to and I think that that is still okay it was not a failure it's just a learning process um, and I think that's one of the biggest lessons that I have learned and try to share to other people not just other writers but other creatives because it is such a open-ended and vague Thing to do that I think we can get really wrapped up into what we view as success in terms of what other people have created and that just simply isn't the case we are always learning always switching up how we do things finding better ways to do things and at the end of the day we are still creating and adding something beautiful to the world and I think that's important to remember um, and on this day, I chose to crochet for my in-between writing sprints task. Um, it's something I really enjoy and it does help me just focus on one thing and focus on the counting and not necessarily letting my wa mind wander. I'm about to check in with Video Maddie, so I'll be back after that. Checking back in, I've just finished up my second writing sprint, which is putting me at 1500 words for my total today. So I have about 8,500 words left to go. It is about 1.30, so I think I'm pretty good with my pacing. Um, I just finished my second writing sprint and I don't think I'm gonna take too long of a break. I am at a part where the action is gonna start picking up, so I kind of want to keep that momentum and I think I'm just gonna jump back into writing as soon as I'm done filming this. So woohoo! over Maddie and this is also all knowing Maddie and knowing how this day went I definitely did not continue with making sure my pacing was on track and turning out well and I think that's partially due to a lack of planning on my part I thought that I had my steps figured out to get to the midpoint um, which I just had a vision of exactly how I wanted it to look, exactly how I wanted it to go. And as I kept writing and writing and writing on this day, I was just writing myself into one dead end after another because I realized my protagonist, she is just not where I need her to be emotionally and with her ambitions. She's just not at that point where that will work as the midpoint and so I did struggle quite a bit with working around that plot um, and after taking a few days off from this writing challenge I think I figured it out and I think I'm gonna push what was my original midpoint back to the final quarter of the story and I have a new midpoint that I think will still be powerful and impactful, but it will also be a much better benchmark to get to that emotional weight, um, have that emotional weight that she really needs to make this next jump in her character arc.
checking back in. It's about 5.30 and I have done four writing sprints so far. I'm just over 3,000 words, so I definitely still have some more work to go, but I went and got food, did some shopping, and I feel like I'm ready to get back into it. My final time back as voiceover Maddie, I just wanted to touch on character really quick because I think one of my weaknesses that I really need to work on is that I tend to come up with a concept for a story first and I build my characters around that concept I want to explore and I think that while it does create a strong character in terms of wants and desires it can hurt building a character that lives their lives and is a real person and so finding that balance between always pushing them forward in their arc but also allowing them to be a real person or as real as any one person can write another new person um, so I think that that is something that just be, really became apparent during this time and that is something that I'm definitely going to keep working on. finished my seventh writing sprint and I finally am over the 5,000 word mark so I'm about halfway there and it's about 7.15 at night so I think I can do it we just have to keep going. the next morning after my writing challenge my camera died last night so battery's charged now um, but I ended up tapping out at 6,000 words which is 4,000 shy of my goal um, and while that's a little disappointing I ended up stopping because I was just at a point where I was so stuck and every sentence I wrote I just didn't see how it fit into the story or how it progressed the story forward so rather than just continue to frustrate myself for 4,000 more words I decided to stop take the time to outline my next steps make sure I have all of the details in place because I'm definitely more of a pantser than a plotter I know point A, point B, point C, point D, but kind of the parts in between that I just write on the fly um, and for this part it just isn't working so I am going to go back through my manuscript, find what isn't working and what led to this block. Um, I'm going to rewrite that and go with my outline um, so I can get to my midpoint which I'm really excited to reach. I think it's a really powerful part of the story so I want to make sure that it the buildup flows nicely um, but in all, that just means I have to do this challenge again and I know I have to go into it starting a little bit earlier in the day and go into it with an outline so yeah 
yeah, I feel like I learned a lot and I did get a lot of writing done, which I'm really proud of. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and hanging out with me. Um, we will, I'll see you next Friday and look out for another writing 10,000 words in one day because I'm actually going to get to 10,000. So thank you so much for watching.